Ang pag-uusapan natin ngayon is remainder theorem. Pero bago yan, syempre, dapat na panood mo yung synthetic division. Yun yung last video natin. Kasi gagamitin pa rin natin dito ang synthetic division. So recall nga natin, let's say we have 3x cubed plus 4x squared minus 5x plus 6 all over x plus 3. Ang dividend natin is yung nasa taas at yung nasa baba ay divisor. At siguraduhin natin na ang dividend ay naka-arrange sa descending powers. Pero dito, yung dividend natin ay okay na. Naka-arrange na naman siya. So, equate na natin sa 0 yung x plus 3. x plus 3 is equal to 0. Subtract tayo both sides ng 3. So, makakancel na to And x is equal to negative 3. So, ilista lang natin siya. Negative 3. Then, kunin natin yung mga coefficients ng polynomial natin. So, 3. Positive 4. Negative 5. And 6. Bring down natin yung 3. I-multiply natin sa negative 3. That is, negative 9. Plus... 4 plus negative 9 is negative 5. Negative 5 times negative 3 is positive 15. Negative 5 plus 15 is equal to 10. 10 times negative 3 is negative 30. And 6 plus negative 30 is negative 24. So yung negative 24, yan yung remainder. Diba sinabi ko yan last video? At alam nyo ba, meron pang isang way sa pagkuha ng remainder. Kung remainder lang ang tinatanong at hindi ang quotient. Kung quotient ang tinatanong, eh di synthetic division. So meron tayo ditong value ng x which is negative 3. Isasubstitute lang natin siya sa dividend natin. At ang makukuha nating sagot ay yung remainder. So, i-verify natin kung ang makukuha nating sagot is negative 24. Substitute na natin. 3 times negative 3 cube plus 4 times negative 3 squared minus 5 times negative 3 plus 6. Simplify lang natin. Negative 3 cubed, that is negative 27, times 3 is negative 81. Plus, negative 3 squared, that is positive 9, times 4 is equal to 36. Negative 5 times negative 3 is positive 15. Plus 6, copy lang natin. And then, i-add lang natin. Negative 81 plus 36 is equal to negative 45. Then, 15 plus 6 is 21. Negative 45 plus 21 is negative 24. So, pareho lang sila, di ba? Ibig sabihin, kung remainder lang ang tinatanong, pwede pala nating i-substitute ang value ng x dun sa dividend natin. Tandaan lang, ang pagkuha ng value ng x ay equate lang sa 0 yung divisor. Next example tayo. Find the remainder when x cubed plus 5x minus 7 is divided by x minus 2 and x plus 3. Equate natin sa 0 yung x minus 2. x minus... 2 is equal to 0. Add tayo both sides ng 2. And x is equal to positive 2. Substitute lang natin sa dividend ha, para makuha natin yung remainder. Ito na yung gagawin natin ha, since remainder lang naman ang tinatanong. 
so 2 cube plus 5 times 2 minus 7 simplify natin 2 cube is 8 plus 5 times 2 is 10 minus 7 8 plus 10 is equal to 18 minus 7 is equal to 11 so ito yung remainder Next, x plus 3, equate natin sa 0. x plus 3 is equal to 0. Subtract tayo both sides ng 3. And x is equal to negative 3. Substitute lang ulit natin. So, negative 3 cube plus 5 times negative 3 minus 7 so negative 3 cube is negative 27 positive 5 times negative 3 is negative 15 minus 7 negative 27 minus 15 minus 7 is equal to negative 49 so, ito na yung remainder. Nakukuha na ba? Like and subscribe ha! Salamat! Last example, the expression x cubed minus kx squared plus 5x plus 3 leaves a remainder of negative 11 when divided by x minus 2. Find the value of k. So, hindi na remainder ang hahanapin natin. Value na ng k. So, paano yun? Analyze natin. Ang divisor is x minus 2. Equate muna natin sa 0. x minus 2 is equal to 0. Add tayo both sides ng 2. And x is equal to positive 2. Pag sinemstitute natin ang value ng x sa dividend natin, ang makukuha nating sagot ay negative 11 na kung saan ito nga ay remainder. Ibig sabihin, ganito yung mangyayari dyan. substitute natin yung 2, then equals natin sa negative 11. So, positive 2 cube minus k times 2 squared plus 5 times 2 plus is equal to negative 11. So, 2 cubed is equal to 8 minus 2 squared is equal to 4. So, times k is 4k. Plus 5 times 2 is equal to 10 plus 3 is equal to negative 11. So, add natin yung 8, 10, and 3. Pero sulat muna natin yung negative 4k. So, 8 plus 10 is equal to 18, plus 3 is positive 21, is equal to negative 11. Subtract tayo both sides ng 21 para mapunta siya sa right side. So, cancel natin to negative 4k is equal to negative 11 minus 21 is negative 32. Divide tayo both sides ng negative 4. Negative 4k divided by negative 4 is k is equal to negative 32 divided by negative 4 is equal to 8. So this is the answer. So, sana may naintindihan kayo sa remainder theorem natin. Yun lang. Bye-bye.